Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're gonna to be going to Star Wars Celebration. Today's day one of four. I think I'm only been going until at least, I wanna say maybe two or three days, but today's the first day and I'm really excited for it. So today's Thursday and on Tuesday and Wednesday you were able to go and like show your, your badge and like get like COVID check done. Um, it's just a way to like speed things up. Uh, I actually did not go and do that. I still have to go and show proof of my, my vaccination status or a negative COVID test, which I, I'm vaccinated, so I have to go and show that. And then after that you get a wristband, but in case you guys didn't do it like I didn't, uh, we're gonna go and do that now. So it's a little hard to see, but that's the Anaheim Convention Center, and that's actually where Star Wars Celebration is going to be held. But to do the COVID check, you have to cross this little pathway over to the Marriott, which is right here. Look for these yellow flags. They're going to tell you where to go. We're not actually going to this part of the Marriott. We're going to be going down this way. I know this may sound confusing, but they actually make it pretty easy for you. There's even signs. It says this way to registration, will call, and health checks. And there's even arrows on the ground. So this is the room where you're gonna do the COVID check and you can also check in for like your tickets or, or if you're media and exhibitor or if you have like will car or whatever, that's where you come and do all this stuff. Uh, we actually checked in and we got our wristband, we did our COVID check and now we're ready for the event. So when you go in there, it's pretty cool because they give you like some freebies. You get like a, a free Disney Plus bag and it says Star Wars Celebration on it and you also get a Star Wars Celebration lanyard. So here's the lanyard, it's got Obi-Wan on it. It's pretty cool and then the Disney Plus bag and then here's how it looks open, which I'm glad they gave this to us because it's going to come handy for all the stuff we're going to buy later on. All right, but anyways, we just got through security. Now we're right in front of the convention center. And I think we're just going to wait around until it's time to make line. Man, look at this giant banner. Anaheim 2022 Star Wars Celebration. You have Darth Vader. I want to say... Palpatine in front of him, Darth Maul, you got Mandalorian, Grogu, Ahsoka, and I, and I want to say Luke in front of her. You got some ATSTs. This is awesome. So after waiting about two hours in line, they're finally letting us in. Woo! Why are we going in? He's working hard to get everybody through. Bye, everybody! May the force be with you! So we just made it up the escalator and I wish I could show you guys my mouth. Like it's, it's like my jaws dropped right now. Look at this giant TIE fighter behind me. That thing is massive. Oh my God, look, it's Darth Vader. You're welcome. <laughs> Darth Vader in front of the TIE fighter. That is sick. There's also some troopers here. Some battle droids. So there's a couple photo ops too. You can take a photo with Boba Fett, Darth Vader, Palpatine, some stormtroopers. Check out these props. We got IG-11 with Grogu, Scout Trooper. Sorry for the bad lighting, but look at this Mando prop. That is so cool. So at this event, there's a Lego booth, and you know we have to go check out the Lego booth. I'm hoping they have the, the new Obi-Wan Kenobi series there. Oh my god, they have the new series. It's coming on August 1st. Look at that. It's the Inquisitor Transport Scythe. I like that Obi-Wan Kenobi minifig. And it's even like a little QR code back here, so you can pre-order it. But this thing is so cool. Trust me, there will definitely be a Lego Live for this one. They also have the Razor Crest, which I actually own this one. It was a, it was a pretty fun build. Then they have the Mandalorian's N1 Starfighter, which this one I think comes out, yeah, comes out June 1st, so. Definitely expect a Lego Live for this one too. This thing is cool. Check out Luke's Landspeeder. I haven't seen it out of the box yet because I haven't built it yet, but this thing is massive. This one was $200, yeah, and it's already been released, but can't wait to build this one. And then I also bought this recently. This one keeps selling out the Lego store. It's the Republic Fighter Tank. Comes with Mace Windu. So I just found another Lego set for the new Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Look, it's Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader. It's a Brickheads. Man, I would so make them an offer right now just to take it home today. Man, 
This one, it doesn't say when it gets released, so hopefully it gets released soon. So it turns out the reason why there's no release date for that Brickhead set I just showed you guys is because they're actually selling it here at the convention. This is like the first place they're actually releasing it, so we're in this giant line to, to try and buy one. Hopefully we can, we can get our hands on one. Quick line update, we're almost there. <laughs> and about 15 minutes after that last update I just gave you guys, we finally got our hands on one of the Brickhead sets. So this is set to release on August 1st, but because we're here at a Star Wars celebration, we already get it here first. Cannot wait to build this. But anyways, we just got to the Hasbro booth because over here you can actually pre-order a pretty cool figure. Look, it's a Black Series John Favreau Paz Vizsla figure. We have a display case also when posed out inside. Yeah. This thing is awesome. Here's another look at the John Favreau figure. That awesome action pose. Sadly, the only way to pre-order one is by coming here. You have to come to Star Wars Celebration, they'll hand you a QR code, and then once you scan it, you'll be able to pre-order it. So also at the Hasbro booth, check it out, they got the Obi-Wan Kenobi Black Series figure. That looks so cool, I can't wait for this to be released so I can buy one. And then they also have Reva. It's also from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. And here's how she looks out of the box. They also have the new Obi-Wan Kenobi Darth Vader Black Series helmet. Look at that. Thing is awesome. Here's a look at the box. So it looks like there's three pieces to this helmet and it looks like it's held together magnetically. That's pretty cool. So here's one of the pieces. And then here are the other two pieces of the helmet. So before we leave the Hasbro booth, there's one more thing I want to show you guys. Look, they have Obi-Wan Kenobi's lightsaber on display. This one's available for pre-order, but I think it won't be released or sent out to people until like next year, early next year, but this is nice. So I was walking to the convention and I passed by this Uconic booth and they have something pretty cool here. Look, they have these lightsaber lamps. These two are huge. <laughs> these are $119.99 and then they have like these smaller ones too. They have the dark saber. That one's forty nine ninety nine. They have Obi Wan Kenobi's lightsaber, thirty nine ninety nine. They have Anakin's for thirty nine ninety nine, and then they have Luke's for thirty nine ninety nine. Well, Anakin, Luke, that's the same lightsaber. Oh my God! Look at this Lego Obi Wan. <laughs> that is awesome. I love your lightsaber. <laughs> that is so cool. Thank you. So we ended up leaving the main like hall at the convention and we ended up coming upstairs where they have the Star Wars Celebration merch store, which I had no idea that there was an upstairs, but there's actually three floors to this building. So just in case you guys didn't know, there's more than one floor. But they have a lot of cool stuff here. Well, whatever's left. Right now it's currently 2.06 and a lot of the employees have been telling me to make sure you come in the morning to get all the good stuff. But right now they have an inflatable X-Wing. With R2. <laughs> they also have Dex's Diner. A light up sign. They have a couple of plush. They have this character, which I can't remember the name, but she's from the Mandalorian. This one that has all the eggs. And that canister thing. I don't know if you guys remember that episode, but Grogu starts eating the eggs. And then they have Black Chrysanthemum from the Book of Boba Fett. A little hard to see because his face is all smashed, but trust me, that's him. <laughs> so he even says it here on the tag. They also have a pretty cool Ahsoka Spirit jersey. I believe it's from the new series. I'm going to show it to you guys. So here's a look at the back. Ahsoka. I love the color of the Spirit jersey. It's really nice. And then here's a look at the front. That's cool. Uh, let's see, I don't see a price. But looks like sizes range, I want to say from a small to a 2X. And then they have this Ahsoka t-shirt. I like it, it's pretty nice. I, I wish I knew the sizes. I can't tell you like where they start or end from because this table has been kind of like ransacked. So I have no idea what sizes they have, but here's a look at the shirt though. Like I mentioned, if you guys are coming to Star Wars Celebration, make sure you guys come to this room first if you guys can, or as early as possible. 
I like these water bottles. So it's a Darth Vader water bottle, and I'm guessing a Luke Skywalker water bottle. These are twenty two dollars. And this is basically the same as the one I just showed you guys, except Luke's lightsaber. Oh man, that was pretty cool. That guy who was like running away like really fast, <laughs> that was John Favreau. So something else you can find in this room, which I think is really awesome, is you can find a lot of the 20th anniversary for Attack of the Clones merchandise. Yeah, this pretty cool baseball tee. They have a patch. We also have this one. This one. Hot Brews Dark Roast Coffee. And yeah, it's the same one. They also have this pretty cool trucker hat. They also have a spear jersey. Here's the front. And then here's the back. Back looks awesome. Got a clone trooper on the back. And then lastly, they have this flex fit hat. Which this one has a price tag on it. It's $32. They also have a pretty awesome skateboard. Look, here's the back. And then here's the front. That is so cool. So as you guys saw, there's a lot of cool stuff up here. Um, the only downside about coming here is that you need either a light speed lane reservation to come in here so that way that's like the fastest way in here is by having a reservation that way you just show your your confirmation and you walk right in whereas like if you wait in standby it's going to take hours because right now I, I passed by the standby line and it was insane it was super long still and like i mentioned it's 2 p.m um and then also i'm a little sad that one of the things that i wanted from here actually sold out it was the the diamond edition grogu funko pop uh, i guess they're only putting out a certain amount every day or each day so whatever they had for today they sold out for today and they said that they'll be restocking tomorrow, but I'm not sure if I'll be here early enough for that. So I don't know. Maybe I'll try on Saturday though. And then another plus to trying to come here early is that the line is way shorter. The line right now is super long. It's like in the next room, and it comes all the way around here, comes all the way around here, and then there's still more line back over there. All right, but anyways, I think we're gonna be calling it a day. Uh, it's been a very tiring first day of Star Wars Celebration. A lot of fun, but. It's kind of stressful like you need to wait in lines for like everything like there was lines for food there was lines for the bathroom lines for merch just lines for everything <laughs> and if there weren't lines you needed a reservation for it which even those are kind of hard to get so i just want to give you guys like a heads up if you guys are coming make sure you guys bring comfortable shoes bring like a stool for in the morning if you guys are coming so that way you guys can sit in line or you know until they finally let you guys into the venue um that helps a lot i actually brought like a, a cheap like stool like it's like a step stool that i found at walmart for like 13 bucks which that actually helped out a lot um, it's collapsible and it's really light. I'm not trying to sell it to you guys, but like it's just I'm telling you guys, it helps out a lot. Like get, getting a chair. Or if now you're gonna be sitting on the ground, which is not so comfortable. But again, just a heads up. And uh, also expect long lines. Uh, today's Thursday, and I can only imagine the weekend getting even crazier. So again, just a heads up. But anyways, I think I'm in the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.